Why, hello, 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 hi, it is me, it is I, small time to your honey and easy every internet and I guess like I am back, hello, yalla, yalla, yalla. I'm so messy. I love that about me. It's by far my favorite. Do you guys know how much I love Wendy Williams? You know, I do this because of Wendy Williams. I know, like, based on a lot of the topics that I choose to cover, I, I don't think you'd suss me out as a Wendy Williams. But the vibe, when I started the thing, I wanted to do reality television reviews, which I do. Real Housewives of Durban is coming back. Do you guys care for me? You know, here's the thing about, how, like, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, right? Like, my videos that I do housewives don't perform as well. The channel's still very young anyway, right? So I can still get away with a lot of stuff, I feel. But the community that I find in those little spaces where the video, my, I love that. I do. I've been called up by my friend though. She's like, if I'm going to do the reviews, I must uh, be respectful of, you know, you all and her breathing. And, and keep to time in that if the thing came out today I can't like go days and then talk about it a week later I need to like really get my reviews out on time which is really hard juggling being a stay-at-home child and all of that stuff it's, it's, it's a lot going on but when I started the channel I actually wanted to do reality television reviews as well as just hot topics and stuff um, but some the topics I gravitate towards sometimes carry such seriousness and sometimes I just want to be goofy really I do and that's what this like segment of like my little channel is and that is what's hot on the blog baby baby this MP trended Gajan 8th the 8th of Jan was on a Monday, so Jan 8th happened the weekend after, right? Jan 8th is like the ANC celebration, um, birthday celebration. They have a big blowout. I believe the African National Congress is 111 or something. I don't give a shit. I don't fuck with them like that. Or 12. I don't care. They have a big blowout for it. And then, um, you know... People gather there and they do the camaraderie shit. I don't know what they do. I do, don't I? We know what they do. The ANC men go there and they gather with their side chicks. And this is what happened in this instance. And this went viral. It was shared uh, on Mappe Pandava and then reshared all across the, the place, right? So this is like over, what, two weeks ago at this point that this has happened. But then we get this leak of voice note and I need you guys to listen to it. Please, please, please listen to it because we need to come back and talk about it. Okay. We need to talk about it. Have a listen. It's about two minutes long. Stay with me. I beg. I a solo boy. I own a legal life. I own a difference. Community hates you. Everybody hates you because of a hypocrite you are. Because of you are so evil. Not stay away from me. I can't worry. Now we are not leveling one. We are a member of parliament. Member of parliament. Yes, I am. Let's go to Hanaluena. I go talk a little rock. I own a little more than a rubbish queen. Ya pevet, ya go tama ifiri ya ba nababa nyan. Ukarbo mabwa nabaka go tarish. Unele pilwe mpi. Wabi uza lungwa na resu. And I've got proof. Utoa o nyayo muru. Utle, utle mogo na mo. Agetu mo rofika. Kainka goro luko lo ya una yo rabana eke kwen. Uskan tilika na. I've been quiet for so long. Utle ya gulisha na lungwa na resu. Unulisha ya family ya resu. Unagana gurwe na upitiri kaini. Lika family nya re no ba go nya ke ka mgosi nang molao ka gona a ona mehwa a ona selo wena o palela go go rekela le bana bo roto manyaka wa safara ka le ba kala gago because o go supportela bana come here e tlamo go nna ke tla go go botsa where to get off o tsama o roga batho a ona selo a ona le ka dieta o shetse ka tsona tse tsa perete u ka re ke dikhoko What's a rabbanic? What, what is a rabbanic? I think these people are from Mabubani. I think that's what people say. 
what is a rabanik because it's my new favorite thing and i want to insult everybody using it here's the thing i heard there's no right and wrong answer in my head just looking at him pictured in that frame with the huge belly i'm not being fat for a big. i'm just you know going with where the word is leading us right in my head i'm thinking it's like guys i think it's the name she uses when she's gossiping i think that's the he's be that, that the way she sounds like so disgusted and repulsed just the disdain in her voice and the continuous because she's anybody who doesn't understand she's just going off with this guy it sounds like she is a cousin to the wife but we're raised very differently as black people so their bond could be more like sisters because she's also talking about her aunt who must be the mother-in-law and she says that my mother-in-law is having to take of your kids you have nothing you're out you're constantly posturing like you have your shit together um you should come here so i can tell you all your business i don't know how you're gonna get here because you don't have a car you don't even have shoes baby she went in oh my god oh my god went in told him how his uh, mother-in-law is the one who's having to take care of his kids who is her aunt woman right so we're raised a bit differently like my little cousin is my baby sister like she's just is different so maybe their bond is different right um and that's why she's like so mad and she's like you're trying to sow division in my family spreading lies trying to get me to fight with um you know my relatives like this in fighting on the family because of things you've instigated your own family doesn't even want you around the community doesn't like you back to the rabbanik and she calls him your rabbanik i think that's the gossip name i think it's the name we use in the big in the background where we're like equal rabbanik rabbanik we like in rabbanik or in your rabbanik or in why because he's kind of fat so i'm thinking it's this the one that says i've probably looted state coffers you know that lukura that sits here that i think that's the one like letairi which is less work for the umpagati when they gotta light you up right i'm not saying they should do that to this man but anyway outside of this yes ha 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 you know rabanik if you're from that area please tell me if i'm wrong because i really feel like and this is the whole thing that people I, I don't know i'd love to know that's not the point my point is are you team because i open the comments and everybody's like hey people will learn to stay out of like a couple's business and blah 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 and she speaks she, she speaks to the fact that she's saying this guy's allegedly abusing his um, partner, who's her, uh, she just says, Manare. she like my, that could mean anything, my sister, my relative, my, my cousin, whomever, right? But like somebody who is of my family, you are, she's accusing him, right? You're abusing this person and that evidence to it. You also like to chase skirts, specifically underage skirts. And I really wish that their parents uh, of these kids that you pursue, that they would pursue you via the law. You know, that's what she's saying. Allegedly, 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 she's saying all of this, right? Great, great. Such a, I think a lot of people can understand this language, though. But I had to get into it for the few people who might be a bit lost in some parts. Great. And I'm like, are you team get involved if something I used to launch? Are you going to beat up your sister's husband in the elevator? Mind you, we don't know why she was beating him up, but we like, yeah, we did use, you know, I, he probably said that dress is ugly hair, but I liked Solange's look. I got where she was going with that pumpkin thing. But where do you stand? I'll tell you where you should stand. And then you never have to think about it again. Say the fuck out of it. It's a bit tricky here because she's alleging abuse, right? Then you gotta step in. But anything else, like, oh my god, girl, I don't know how to tell you, but he's cheating. Can you stay out of it? 
Thank God, no, she's been cheated on. Thank God, sign up for that. She, first of all, she married an ANC Rabanik. I thought it was the only kind of Rabanik. But she, she did that to herself, right? And you are up and down the internet speaking on her behalf, angry as fuck, doing all of this, and she's going to stay with him. If your friend is with a man who's no good, she knows he's no good. Don't go back to her with the information of her man being no good because you're the piano now. You are the problem. You're trying to break apart her happy family. Mind you, a bitch is looking malnourished, that, but she eats up when he's grapes, right? She's always on some organic, organic, but she will make it do the organic. And you're like, I'm sorry, aren't she supposed to be the picture of health? No, she stressed the fuck out, dehydrated from all the fucking lies and manipulation and humiliation, but she, she, she likes it. You, you are the jealous one. You don't tell your friends that their husbands are cheating. You heard it here. Rahali is giving you permission to look the other way. You, John Cena, bitch. You see nothing, nothing. You are Ray Charles always when people are cheating. You know nothing because people have their agreements. They silent agreements. Things that they're willing to put up with. Things that they aren't willing to put up with. And when we shut this thing right now, you're forcing a person to address something that is a non-issue to them. Now they gotta address it because you're looking at them funny. It's like, oh, so and so now knows you're cheating, so I have to act like I'm mad about it. She's not fucking mad, girl. She's not mad. Her kids are going to private school, and she gets to say she's um, she gets to say that this is my husband, and some people get to be impressed. Some doors get open, some opportunities get extended to her, and she doesn't care. A lot of women are taught to swallow like humiliation. How is she possibly still partnered with a person who's in this position where he's supposed to be, you know, according to you, you saying he doesn't have things, according to this voice note, right? But she stayed married to him, and that's the other thing about, she stayed married to him, let me try to stay on course for the first time, like ever. She stayed married to him, her mother is helping keep like the kids fed according to this voice, not allegedly, 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 right? She's keeping the kids fed and everything, and you're gonna have an issue. Everybody feels like they're getting something out of this agreement. That's why they're staying in it. You know, sometimes we need to accept that Wumarena are the original pygmies. And it, 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 it's like it, it like Marina, but no problem. Like so, sometimes my mom says things and I'm like, girl, I love you. But no, I'm going to chuck that piece of advice. Like it doesn't serve me. Then I need to remember, oh, girl was born in 19, dun, 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 and she got married in 19. Dun. Like she's just from a different time and she went down a different path and different things interest her and she feels valid, validated by different things, different things for fuller than me. She's my mom. Great respect for her. Great love. I do not care to like replicate and or emulate her life. So sometimes she's going to say that just simply do not like align with where I'm going, with what I'm about. And I can respectfully just be like, yeah, this advice we're chucking. Truly. See, because her mom might be a pick me. That's why her mom is still making sure she stays in the marriage. And I'm not saying let your grandkids starve. But when things start to get like this, it's like, where I, where I, you start over, I'll help you from here. Because now the mother-in-law, if this is the issue, let's leave these people aside because I actually do know of mother-in-laws who've had to buy food to keep. And it's, it's a different thing. It's not like when somebody is like retrenched, you guys are going through a difficult time and your parents dip it. That, that's a different ball game. This is somebody who's over here embarrassing you on the internet, who went to Gen A, right? who's doing all manner of things publicly so, and these niggas like to buy bottles and look like they've got it going on. I'm not saying that's what he's doing. I'm saying he's tight, right? People like him. They do all manner of things. When they get a little bit of money, it's time to prove to people that, nah, God, well, like I, have, I still have it. Like, look, I bought this bottle or whatever the issue is, right? Getting to Gen 8 itself is money. Being there is money, depending on where you're from, obviously, because it moves around, right? 
but it's still money to be around there, to rub the shoulders, to socialize, to make the connections, um, to get the baddies. It's all money, all of it. And to think you guys are at home and he's there doing what exactly? Because whatever it is that he's doing in parliament is also allegedly not keep, keeping you guys fed. So what's he doing over there? Right? But the mom will come in as mothers do, cover the situation and try to, to make it look pretty and stuff, right? Because the mother-in-law also wants to be able to say, Mukonya Nawaka is a member of parliament. She also wants, like, some of you stay in marriages because your mom will be too embarrassed if you come back home. Because your mom was like, when you were getting married, she was saying all types of stuff about other people's kids. And the pressure to stay in these unions are even sometimes external. That's wild. My mind went racing when I listened to this, when I saw it. But don't tell nobody. I don't care how close you think you are. I don't care. I don't care if the, the friend's husband tries to kiss you. Like, I know people are going to disagree. Don't fucking tell her. You're the problem now, right? Or your, your, your sister, your your cousin's husband, whatever, tries to come on to you. Eh. Say nothing. Say nothing. Get a, I don't know. My man tried to kiss me. And then wash it. Wash it. Say it in a bottle. Close that fucking bottle and throw it into the fucking river. I don't give a shit. Don't say it to anybody because the problem... Wait, now. Nah, you're the woman. Then the problem is you, you enticed him. You did something. Hello, Munyaka. You want my life. Which life, bitch? The one where your mom's buying you groceries. It's always so fucking weird. Like, no, nobody wants that life, girl. Like, oh. So silly. But anyway, I laughed. I laughed and I was like, yo. But to have violence with their tongues. Like, oh my God. Like, the tongue lashing of it. I could never... See my curls. Ah. I've been naked again, guys. I, I went for my walk. I'm back on my walks, guys. Maybe I should give you guys like a monthly weight loss updates and stuff. Also, where I stopped giving them, Oscar Balkim Buji is that. Oscar Balkim Buji saga maradi commenti. Ukere he rahadi namili arsa arsa data. You and who, girl? That's her. That's her. Palagule sherela. Lim monitor too much. Now I can't even say to you guys, yo, I dropped like you know the centimeter. I can't because in March you're gonna be like progress, yo. Yeah, me, yo, yeah, me. Like, but anyway, back to Rabanik. I was actually gonna cover this as well. And oh, Annie, <gasps> the ribbon. Annie from Real Housewives of Durban. Sunday World, what's hot on the blogs, okay? Sunday World ran an article saying that Annie is apparently not coming back to the show. And they spoke to her husband. They allegedly, allegedly, they're saying they spoke to him. They have him in quotation marks and stuff. And they're saying he says that um, she had to, you know, pull back from the show to focus on her businesses because his businesses took a knock. Because I'll link the article, but I'm giving you the gist. He's saying some employees brought in a speed point, an outside speed point, and they've been swiping things, and that money's obviously been going to a different bank account and stuff, and they scammed and schemed off the top like that. His employee, this is off the back of his employees saying like his uh, regular DJ, uh, his regular DJs and regular performers as, lo as well as like his waiting staff. Everybody's complaining that they aren't getting paid and they went to like socials with it and stuff So this is his response to it that I'm also a victim. I've been getting robbed This has happened. My wife is here to pull back from the show so she can focus on her businesses and stuff. Bullshit I think this is that shit that Robin Dixon did on Real Housewives of Potomac I felt the same way about Londi as well Real Housewives is about you showing us your lives you don't get to say, now that it's not glistening and shining, you're stepping out. The point is to show us your life. We want to see the rock bottom, right? Great. And you pull back and said, like, her mentor can't take it. I can respect that, right? Especially because of, like, her and Sarisha were the ones with the husbands who've done well. You know, Sarisha is in, in a different world altogether. Like, do you see my hand? No. 
that's where fucking Sarisha is. And Annie's here. Can you see it? Yeah. And then everybody else, we like now have to get a torch and look for these brokies all over here. That's exactly what the fuck was the structure over there, right? The girls are like financially overstretched. But it's crazy that you only want to show us when you're driving your pink rover. We want to know that they took the pink rover. We want the, the, you fell and you came back. I personally want Annie to come back up because I dig Annie. Like big time, I really dig her. I can also understand the embarrassment, but like the show should not be allow these kinds of people back on the show. Londi as well, right? Londi should have moved to a different franchise right? because she changed provinces altogether. She moved back to Gauteng, I think, right? She should have moved to a different franchise, but we should get to hear the story. It can't just be that whenever you want to be on when it's running and popping for you. No, no, no. You, there must be repercussions for that. Kenya Moore got her fucking consequences for that. She got married off camera and she was demoted for an entire season. Kenya fucking Moore. She carries the show. Her and Nini were the anchors of that show or, or, on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you girls get to say it's not cute now and I'm like, uh-uh. Let's go where then. When it's nice, don't come back. We don't want to see I care, we don't want to see. I want to see you at your Mabusi. Truly. But that's it. Oh, Nicki Minaj is going outside. Outside. Being a barb is embarrassing. It's never not been embarrassing. That's what's crazy. Being a barb. You're having to defend this unhinged woman who clearly doesn't know if it's day and night. Oh, get your pen and paper. Get a little scribbler notepad. Get a little... Dating Team Didi here. I didn't realize that it had cut this far. But I was saying to get a notepad, write your girl some bars. She's going outside. Being like a, you know, the rose among the thorns. When the other young girls start to come up. Because, like, let's be real about Nikki. I've never, I was never the target for her thing. Her entire gimmick is how I feel about her entire thing. Truly. And I don't know how else to say it. I don't know mixtape Nikki. And I'm not going to go find her. Out of that, like, beat him up Scotty shit. That shit she did before Young Money was like, you need to bubblegum this shit up. I don't know that person. I know mainstream her who's got this big head, right? And the music never resonated with me. And I'm not even going to say it's good or because it's good or bad or my taste is it just there was no resonance for me, right? It wasn't made for me. I, I don't like it. But I always noticed that I don't respect girls who like it. And it wasn't even a thing of like, I'm not like other girls. There were plenty of other girls around me that the Nikki stuff just never stuck with them. Like it just, I was like, oh, okay, we get it, whatever. Like, I don't know. And when she came out, what she was putting out should have resonated with a person like me, but it wasn't sticking. Like I, it, it just felt put on and gimmicky. And it probably has to do with the fact that she doesn't command. She's not a performer. She may be a writer, you know, I wouldn't go as far as saying a lyricist because that's being disrespectful to the greats. Like people be writing for real. Um, but she writes her own rhymes and she needs everybody to know that. And I can respect that. That's your work. You take pride in it. Great. Whatever. But like, I've always noticed that women in particular who are like Nikki stands are maladjusted. At, like Nikki stands, stands in general. It's a mental illness. We know this, right? But stands in general, like Nikki stands in particular, maladjusted. Just like her. That's how you end up with a husband like that. Unraveling or up and down the internet. Over a younger woman coming up in the game. After taking shots and shots and shots at her. And she fires the little one back. And oh, you're unsettled. It screams insecurity of a different kind. It just seems like she was only secure in a position for as long as she was the only girl around. And the moment the other girls came around, they took you know bow down and like and kiss the ring and it's like bitch who do you think you are like no i guess the kim acted the same way when she pulled through that was whack too 
but it's like somebody get that lady some help truly get us up but like even like on a character level i do not rate this woman at all i don't but anyway that's like my little hot topics my little what's hot on the blogs took a bit longer than i thought it would this is supposed to be like a 15 minute video but anyway mwah, bye -ya. i haven't signed out in a while hey i've just been walking off mad i'm having tea please do like share comment and subscribe mwah, mwah. bye -ya, love.